Now, I was going to wait until tomorrow to upload this video, but for sod it, I'll do it now. In the last two videos about the incident on Chelsea Road Bridge, in which a man was tasered by Metropolitan Police, I had, at the time, limited information, which I had to base my opinions on, as well as share the few facts that came with it. A subscriber has now sent me a longer video, which shows things much more clearly. I want to make it clear that from the first short clip I used came from the Sun newspaper. And as I said in the last video, I don't trust a word they print anyway. And I was right to say that because the video had been cut down and the suspect's face was blurred with the video ending as the guy goes over the side of the bridge but stops before we see where he goes. As I said in that video, there did not appear to be a screwdriver on the guy. I couldn't tell if the guy went all the way over the side of the bridge as he could have held on and fell after a while if police were trying to grab him. And it also looked to me like the guy was either white or of mixed race. Those were my opinions based on what was revealed by the facts at the time. Since that video went up, a longer video has come to light and now enables me to update my reports, which is what I do. For those of you idiots who think you're clever trying to call me out, obviously you don't watch the channel often enough to know that I will update on stories and amend any opinions that I had based on new evidence that I'm able to observe with my own eyes. So do yourselves a favour and stop being dickheads. In the longer video, it appears that the guy who was tasered did have a screwdriver, but he had dropped it before the last short clip from the sun picked up on the footage. So they effectively cut that part out of their report, as well as cutting the video at the point the guy hopped over the side of the bridge. As you can see here, the video picks up when the guy is sitting on the ground in front of the guy filming. However, the longer footage shows he did have a screwdriver but dropped it before this point and some distance away, as you can see in this video. I also want to pick up on the fact that in my last update, I said the guy looks white or possible mixed race. This was because his face was blurred and I could only see his arms and legs, which on my computer looked paler than that of a black man. And so my assumption was based again on what was evident to me at the time. However, in the longer uncensored video, it's clear that this man was a black man. Now, I'm sure that will confuse a few of you. I mean, how can a black man taser another black man? It just doesn't fit the narrative, does it? Does not compute. Does not compute. Does not compute. Anyway, jokes aside, this guy did have a screwdriver, he did appear to jump the side of the bridge, and he was an IC3 male, not a white or multi-race male. Those of you who follow my channel know that I make reports based on the information that's available at the time, and I will always rectify, amend, or update when further information comes available. For those of you who don't know that, now you do. So if I read any more of your bullshit comments trying to call me out, which won't work by the way i'll simply fuck you off the channel because you are clearly you clearly don't have the critical thinking needed for a channel such as this anyway here's the original video based on the sun's report followed by the video that i've recently received showing more of the incident and uncensored Oh, and by the way it seems that kamal el sayez who was quoted as driving along the bridge actually committed an offence of using his mobile phone whilst in charge of a mechanically propelled, propelled vehicle. Also in the Sun's report, it says that Kamal said the police were telling him to put it down. He dropped it. The next thing I know, he jumps in the river. Which was incorrect because he dropped it. Then he was tasered. Then he was on the floor. Then he got up and ran to the side of the bridge and then he jumped in the river. Yet again, the reason why I must do updates when reporting on news, specifically breaking news, because reports, because initial reports are often wrong.
fuck now. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>